Welcome to this little demo where I want to show you the new features of WebCat 2.09. Uh, one of the major new features is that uh, the video player is now a component that can be loaded inside of a tab. So if I want to play a video just like for example this one, one of my own YouTube videos in here, uh, I click play and it will open up in the same tab as you can hear and I now have the option to control the video player from this tab by using the full screen button to go into full screen of course you have landscape mode and you have the options to go out of full screen go into another tab browse the web even play another video just like for example here big bug bunny for example and you can switch then between those two tabs which is really nice if you want to change the quality of the video you can long press the play button it will bring up uh, the play menu where you can choose between uh, 720p 330p and 240p and those work now as I fixed the bug in grabbing the correct YouTube video stream. So if I switch to 360p, you can see it's now loading the 360p video, which is pretty nice. So this is one of the major new features in WebCat 2.0.9. You can of course close by pressing the X and you're back to where you were before. Yeah, this is one of the major new features in the WebCat 2.09 um, version. Of course, I fixed some issues, just like, for example, um, opening up the private window, which wasn't working for some reason in the last version, is now working. So you can open up a new private instance of WebCat, which is working. If you want to open up a link in a new window or a bookmark in a new window, for example, you can do so. This was fixed as well. And some other fixes got into this little version. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration video and thanks for watching.